Hi everyone! I've got a little project that I wanted to share with you and uh, it turned out so cute. I love it! Uh, this is a little box that I altered and it's a uh, Philadelphia cream cheese box and I'll show you a picture of it right here. Okay to start with uh, you can see I got some little skeleton leaves here. Uh, this butterfly is from Renee Bouquet. I got a little flower from a stash. Uh, I made these little bead sprays right here. And then I just added some bead trim and some lace trims. The paper that I used is from DCWV. It's uh, die cuts with a view, and it's the lace and linen stack. So pretty, and it's um, it's that heavy uh, paper that uh, is just one sided. You know, it's kind of heavy, and so uh, when I mod podged it on that box and was ready to uh, close it and bend it at the seams. The paper would crack, and so I added some of that sheetrock tape. Is that uh, stuff like that? And I did that on all the edges where the paper would bend because it was cracking, and so that would just strengthen it. And I didn't mind leaving it to show because I thought it was just another little layer, and um, so I just left it that way. But anyway, that's the paper I used. Um, let's see, the metal pieces are from Butterbee Scraps. And uh, the rest of the uh, embellishments are just beads and trims and laces uh, from my stash. On the bottom is uh, some little wooden dolls that I painted and then I just added my little, my little tag at the bottom. Okay, okay, so the inside I finished it off with some book pages that I distressed with some vintage photo and then I just collaged it on with some Mod Podge and then kind of whitewashed it over a little and then covered it again with Mod Podge to give it a, a good coating and um, and I've got a magnet here and I didn't cover this magnet uh, because it does give it a better contact and I wasn't sure how I wanted to cover that yet so I just left it the way it is but um, this makes a nice little gift box jewelry box or for trinkets or whatever and what I'm going to use it for is my ATC's so this is some ATC's that I had been playing around with and uh, so I've got a, a little stack of them here and see so I did a little painting here and so I needed a place to keep my some of my ATCs and that's what I'm going to use this for and it fits in there really nice so um, I'm really happy with it <laughs> <laughs> it's very useful as well. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Okay, so um, I got a little video at the end if you want to check it out showing me putting this together. And um, I uh, hope y'all enjoy it. And I appreciate you watching. And I, again, I appreciate all y'all's support and your sweet comments. Thanks so much. Y'all have a nice day. Okay, so this is the uh, Philadelphia cream cheese box that I altered. It's a little carton box that holds two 8-ounce blocks of cream cheese. And I used a heat gun to uh, melt the glue to take the box apart. Uh, right here, I'm just uh, looking for the paper I want to use. And um, just measuring up to make sure that it's going to fit right here. And I'm using Eileen's Tacky Glue uh, to adhere it to the paper. And uh, 
using a little plastic credit card to smear the glue around and that works pretty good I want to make sure it's got some good coverage And if you'll notice, um, I, I did not glue the uh, flap down at the very end. That's what I'm showing you there. Because I'm going to put another type of uh, scrapbook paper to that part. And I'm cutting little slits right here that I'm going to glue into the uh, inside of the box. And uh, so since I've never covered one of these before, I'm just trying to figure this out as I go along. So hey, y'all just uh, bear with me. I have used tissue paper to cover boxes uh, lots of times and it works really good and um, I love the results but in this particular case I wanted to use some heavy duty paper to really give this box some uh, support and so it's, uh, it's a little more difficult to cover it with the paper because of that but um, I wanted to do that instead of uh, using a napkin or tissue paper this time. And it did make the box sturdier. At this point I'm showing you how I did uh, one side and of course I just uh, cut out the part showing the other side because it's kind of repetitious showing the same thing. So I'm just showing you how I did each little section just on one side of the box. Right here I have torn some book pages and I'm uh, distressing it with uh, some ink and that's a that's tan ink instead of uh, distress ink like I had said originally and I apologize for that so right here I'm collaging it on the inside of the box And before I had collaged the uh, book pieces to that top flap, I did put a little magnet there that I used for the closure. And I'm going to finish it off with some of that collage page to seal that. Right here is where I'm adding the glue to put the uh, other piece of paper that I wanted to use. And that's the paper I'm using. And 
And I use that same paper for the sides. That's some little chipboard, which is actually a box, piece of a box. And I'm going to glue it to that paper as well. The sides of that uh, cream cheese box is a bit uneven, and so I'll, I'll just uh, use these little pieces here, and uh, that'll reinforce the the, it, the ends as well as uh, make them straight and even. So I'm gluing it on here like that. This is some uh, embossing paste, and it's just one of the first ones I grabbed uh, that I had on hand. And uh, all I'm doing is using the paste to all around the edges to seal it and to smooth it, smooth out the corners. So that's what I'm using that for. If I had made my own. I had a little batch of my own homemade, which I like to use. I would have done that, but um, I just had this on hand, so uh, I used that embossing paste. So right here, I've got some watered down white paint, and I'm uh, just putting a light wash on the inside of the box, and then I do the same thing on the outside, just kind of giving it a light wash. And I take a little baby wipe and dab it off as well, so it's not so white. And I don't have it on camera, but you see the uh, little mesh there. That's the uh, sheetrock tape that I used to put on the edges because the paper was actually cracking when I folded it after gluing it on, so I used that uh, sheetrock tape to reinforce the uh, edges. And right here I'm starting to add the lace. And I'm using fabric, Fabri-Tac glue 